Yeah, we've got a great sunrise happening right now. Sun's coming up, not a lot of cloud cover out there, but just enough color that it's adding to uh, make for a brilliant morning, at least a start to the morning. Other locations, a couple of clouds starting to roll in from the west, and I am showing some of our cameras from the west because that's where the clouds will be coming from. As the day wears on, you'll see more and more of those clouds, but through about noon, I really think it's just watching the temperatures warm up, which are currently into the 50s and 60s. Not too many 70s out there, but those temperatures, once we do have that sunshine, should be able to warm up pretty quickly through the 70s and right about midday we should be right around 80 degrees. Clear skies for the most part, but when I move the map you can see some of the clouds starting to filter in and then shortly thereafter we'll start to see some rain chances increase. But this is going to be moving into a relatively dry air mass, so a lot of that's going to dry up. So when I looked at this earlier in the day and it does bring more and more cloud cover in as the day wears on, there's midday right around 80 degrees, more clouds in place. Watch as the model tries to kick off maybe a couple of sprinkles or light showers here and there. And while I think that could be possible, I don't want to discount it completely. I do think the atmosphere is just going to be a little bit too dry. I'm going to hold off on rain chances for today, although I certainly will be watching the radar. Once we get into late Sunday evening and then Monday, the atmosphere will start to add a little bit more moisture so that by midday tomorrow, good chance that we'll see some scattered showers, even a few rumbles of thunder. Right now I'm holding my rain chance at about 60%, but to be honest, I could probably up that to around 80%. So Looking like at some point you have a pretty safe bet of seeing some rain for your Monday. Beyond that, a couple of cooler days here for Monday and Tuesday, and then plenty of sunshine to move the temperatures right back up into the mid to upper 80s. Summer's not done just yet. In fact, some of the long range forecasts past our seven day forecast, this is the six to 10 day time frame, does bring a lot of warmer than average temperatures across the country. At least the signal is there that we could see warmer than average temperatures, and we have that in the seven day forecast starting on Wednesday with temperatures back into the mid 80s, plenty of sunshine. And by the time we get to the end of the week, we're in the upper 80s, close to 90 degrees for next Saturday. The only significant rain chance we have is going to be Monday because after that, it looks to remain dry.